Welcome back to Vintage Diamonds. What is your favorite show of Morgan Fairchild, and how old were you when you saw her for the first time? Let me know in the comment section. In today's video I tell you a few interesting facts about the beautiful Morgan Fairchild which you probably didn't know. Her first name is derived from the title character of the David Warner comedy film Morgan, a suitable case for treatment. The first job she had as a professional was to act as Faye Dunaway's double during the location filming of Bonnie and Clyde. As a native Texan, Morgan was considered for the Sybil Shepherd role in the last picture show, competing against Sissy Spasak. A member of the National Association of Theatre Owners, she was named Star of Tomorrow in 1981. On October 11, 2003, she served as Grand Marshal at Bellflower's Liberty Day Parade, celebrating Bellflower's 46th birthday. Harper's Bazaar named her one of the 10 most beautiful women in the world in 1982. In March 2008, she was inducted into the Texas Film Hall of Fame. From 1997 to 2004, she was a celebrity's because middle for old lady stores. She has stated that, if acting hadn't worked out, she would have wanted to become a paleontologist. Fairchild returned to daytime soap operas in 1995 as the caddy Sydney Chase on the scene. After playing the role for a year, she appeared on General Hospital. Besides appearing on Friends, she also guest starred on Sybil as Andrew, Sybil Shepherd's rival on the comedy series. As well as acting, Fairchild has been involved in a number of theater productions over the years. Recent roles include Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate, a stage adaptation of the movie. Dental White, a consumer tooth whitening product, was also advertised by her in an international campaign. Fairchild participated in the competition reality show, But Can They Sing, in 2005. She played Sophia Blakely in the Minotaur show Fashion House in 2006, a rival to Bo Derek's character, Maria Johnny, in another rich bitch role. In addition to her appearance on Chuck, she also played Dr. Honey Woodcomb, the mother of Captain Awesome. Having a guest role in The Bold and The Beautiful in 2009 marked another return to soap operas. She has appeared in Bones, Revenge, and Hot in Cleveland in recent years. Two and a half men cast her as a cougar who proposes Charlie Harper with the line, what has multiple orgasms in Hunts, in 2007. Along with her work as an actress, Fairchild has maintained an active role within the Screen Actors Guild, now SAG after. She has served on several guild committees during her three years as a guild board member, including the Legislative Committee, the National Executive Committee, the SAG After Relations Committee, the Commercials Contracts Committee, and the Honors and Tributes Committee. A website that helps consumers make burial pre-planning decisions named Fairchild Spokesperson in 2014. As part of that role, she appeared in television commercials and direct mail campaigns. 